is raining. I don't know if it's just bad tires or just in the rain they weren't that great. Or if it's just how steep it is or how much power I'm making. But I haven't even told you, told you welcome. Well, welcome to today's vlog. Let's see. Yep, so, Jim's back, and the truck is almost out of gas. Or, not gas, but diesel. Um, let's see, exhaust fluid level is okay, which is all it's saying, it's just okay. It doesn't say how much it is, which I, one thing I hate about these Fords. Anyways, um, exhaust filter is at like 85%, so. Anyways, let's uh, yeah, let's see when he gets back how much how much the exhaust filter gets cleaned. Well, I just meant, went to make first little rounds checking everybody, and first person I passed by, Mawson, has a stuck open coupler, which isn't his, isn't his fault. Um, but you know, Jim always keeps his tools for it in the bed of his truck and it wasn't in there. So I had to stop by the shop and get it. Now we'll come on back by and we're gonna get it unstuck hopefully. Well, other than actually finding the coupler, that was the easiest one I've done. <laughs> so it took me a few seconds to find exactly where the coupler's at. And then once I finally did, I got it in there, just stomped on it, and it shut right off. Um, I'll go ahead, I'll show you the tool here in a second. But basically it's like a T-pipe thing. Take the top of the T basically, and you stick it in the coupler, and then you just stomp on it. Or stomp on the like long part of the T. And then it goes down and it Basically, it resets the spring inside of the valve in the coupler. Um, sometimes that valve just kind of gets the valve and the spring just get a little off centered, and then it just stays open and it won't shut off. Um, so you sometimes you just gotta stomp on it and reset the spring because sometimes there's a piece of mulch or rock or something like that in there. So we got that reset, and so we got that one good. Now we'll just keep going around, check on everybody until Jim gets back. Well, looks like Jim didn't, wasn't able to clean the filter. Darn it. Uh, well, looks like I'll be doing that uh, probably Monday. Cause that, that sounds about right. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Sometime soon. Next couple days. Oh, well, here's what a Falcon's Flight does. You can see they're testing it out. But, so supposedly, we're supposed, we should be getting about 248 miles on this tank. So I guess we'll see, see how that works. So now, after lunch, and we got to make sure we get everything all ready for the part to open tonight, which involves me getting on the blower and blowing my stuff off. So I'm, I got to do dynos and think of something else and make sure we get all this. So we'll be blowing from here for a little while. Well, that was an interesting end to the day. Transmission and differential. Alright, so as you can 
see, still don't have tuner in or anything. Ooh, man. But we'll wait for this guy. And then we'll go. 